On August 9th of 2022, Serena Williams announced the news of her imminent retirement. She declared that she would probably stop playing tennis after the 2022 US Open. Serena is regarded as the greatest player to have ever played women's tennis. She held the title of world number one singles player for 319 weeks, and she's won 23 Grand Slam tournaments, an all-time record. Let's take a look at the top 10 games she played during her amazing career. Starting off with number 10 versus Maria Sharapova, 2012 Olympic gold medal match. Tennis players haven't always placed a high priority on competing in the Olympics. However, the Olympics have always been a top priority for Serena and Venus Williams and an opportunity for them to truly demonstrate their incredible supremacy in women's tennis. Even though Serena had won three Olympic gold medals in doubles, she hadn't yet won the singles gold medal when the 2012 games began. She would finish the career golden slam if she won the match. And we'd just like to tell you, winning is an understatement for the way Serena completely destroyed Sharapova in this match. Naturally, this entails winning the singles gold medal at the Olympics as well as all four Grand Slam championships over a lifetime. Serena's 2012 Olympic gold medal added another outstanding victory to her resume. Williams crushed and outmatched Maria Sharapova 6-0 and 6-1 in the final in just 62 minutes after serving three aces in the opening game. Following this, at number 9, we have versus Angelique Kerber, 2016 Wimbledon Final. One of the best matches ever played. There were so many outstanding rallies in the game. Serena Williams defeated Angelique Kerber in this match by putting on one of her greatest efforts, coming out on top. Serena Williams won Wimbledon 2016, 7-5, 6-3, successfully defending her SW19 championship and earning her first major triumph in a year. Williams' victories allowed her to tie Steffi Graf's record of the most Grand Slam victories by a woman during the Open era. The star athlete preferred playing strategy turned out to be the longer rallies. And as games went on, Kerber smashes frequently appeared to have more force. Even after six games in the first set, the two players were still in a tie. Williams steamrolled ahead at 5-3 before serving out the win. And what a well-deserved victory it was. The crucial break came when the German committed an unusual, reckless era. Following this, at number 8, we have versus Victoria Azarenka, 2012 US Open Final. On the Arthur Ashe Court at Flushing Meadows, Victoria Azarenka came within one or two shots of defeating Serena Williams, the fourth time US Open champion. In just her second match in 11 tries, both women were showing all the imperfections and wonders of the women's game. The world number one served four double faults and took 13 aces, but was still close to winning several times. Williams triumphed 6-2, 2-6, 7-5 in a marathon of 2 hours and 18 minutes, a figure that doesn't properly capture the unfolding drama. Williams needed a few more of those aces to stay in the match after falling behind at 3-5. She survived despite not having another ace after that. Azarenka lost focus while serving to win the game and surrendered three break points. She made one save before dropping her serve and got anxious. When a forehand floated long in the 12th game, Serena had a match point. When Azarenka overcooked another shot, the match was over. Next up, at number 7, we have versus Kim Kleister, 2003 Australian Open semi-final. Serena Williams overcame a gap to defeat Kim Kleister and advanced to the Australian Open final. Williams battled back from a 5-1 down in the final set to save two match points and maintain her her chances of winning the Serena Slam. Kleister lost two match points while serving at 5-2 in the third set, and Serena paid respect to her. When attempting to serve out the match a second time at 5-4, the 19-year-old tumbled once more. After two sets, each player had won one set, and they were in the third set, where Kleister had a 1-5 advantage. The comeback started after then, as Williams went on to win 4-6, 6-3, 7-5. Serena is the only woman in the open era to successfully come back from a match match point deficit to win a Grand Slam title more than once. In fact, she's done it three times. Moving on to number six, we have versus Elena Dementieva, Wimbledon 2009 semifinal. Elena Dementieva ended up being the opponent in yet another Grand Slam semifinal. She came agonizingly close to unseating the cool and collected Serena Williams, but didn't exactly do it. Losing 7-6, 5-7, 6-8, and what will go down in history as the longest women's semifinal at two hours 
hours and 49 minutes. After an amazing exchange of breaks in the first few games, the women continued to fight, holding their ground pound for pound. Serena was flooded with serves from one side and smashing returns from the other as the match continued. The persistent Russian continued to use her strategy of forcing Serena to run from one corner to the next, panting and slowly eventually giving up. Amazingly, the athlete watched the opening set slip away from her in a tie break after 50 minutes. But as expected, the dangerous Serena retaliated by motivating herself and yelling to lift her spirits, raising the levels of the game she was playing, and eventually winning the match. Serena responded to Elena Dementieva's questions with smacking returns as she continued serving her. Following this, at number 5, we have vs Justine Ennin, Australian Open 2010 Final. Serena Williams has enjoyed spoiling many Grand Slam fairy tale endings over her roughly 10 years at the top of the women's game. So it didn't come as a surprise when she ended Justine Ennin's hopes of sealing her comeback from retirement by winning the Australian Open. The women's final here, for once, met expectations. The second serve was viciously pursued by both players, who either outright won or clumsily made faults. Ennin made a comeback after exchanging breaks early in the second round. She held serve in the opening game of the third set and won the first point of the next game, winning a total of 15 straight points as she battled to the end of the set to level the match. Williams resisted Ennin's attempts to take a 2-0 lead in the match's decider, but as soon as Ennin's form broke, Williams seized the opportunity. She broke the lead 3-2 and again two games later before serving out the match and rolling back into victory. Moving on to number 4, we have vs Svetlana Kuznestova, Roland Garros 2013 quarterfinal. In the 2013 French Open quarterfinals, Serena Williams defeated Svetlana Kuznestova 6-1, 3-6, 6-3. Williams celebrated as though she had won the French Open after hitting a smash to secure the title. Perhaps the extra energy came from defeating Kuznestova and some of Roland Garros' ghosts? Since 2003, Williams had not advanced past the quarterfinals. She was eliminated in the first round the year before. Williams seemed like she would be eliminated again in the quarterfinals after falling behind 0-2 in the third set. Williams collected herself though, and as she had done so often before, dug deep to get herself out of trouble. Williams' decision to abandon her clay court practice when behind 0-2 in the third set was the match's turning point. She continued playing as if she were on a hard court. She leaned heavily on her thunderous serves and strong ground strokes. Williams pulled out the hammer and started hitting like a home run batter after giving up sliding to block shots. Kuznestova was stunned. Next up, at number 3, we have vs Maria Sharapova, 2005 Australian Open Semifinal. In a nail-biting Australian Open Semifinal in Melbourne, Serena Williams heroically recovered from the verge of defeat by Maria Sharapova. Williams saved three match points when Sharapova served for the match on Red Laver Arena twice. After a marathon 66-minute final set, the 2003 champion broke Sharapova's serve in the 14th game to win 2-6, 7-5, and 8-6 in 2 hours and 39 seconds. The rivalry between Serena and Sharapova transformed after this. Sharapova was crushing Serena before this match and had already defeated Serena in 2004. Throughout this match, Serena was frequently down by a number of points, and Sharapova even had three match points. But she didn't give up, and instead, Serena really took fate into her own hands, and she fought back with everything she had to win the game 6-2, 5-7, 6-8. Following this at number two, we have vs Nadia Petrova, round three, Australian Open 2007. At this point, Serena was facing off against the entire world, rather than just her opponent. With a world rating of 81 when she arrived at the Australian Open in 2007, she was making her recovery from a potentially career-ending injury. She was labeled as overweight and unfit by critics and analysts. By defeating six ranked opponents en route to the championship, Serena debunked every last remark about her. Serena changed her approach to the game after losing the opening set 6-1. She played long rallies while using all of her strength and skill. The American ultimately won by scores of 6-1, 5-7, and 3-6. Closing our list with vs Venus Williams, 2017 Australian Open Final. Graf is Serena's closest rival of Open Era champions, but on this particular day, she overcame her. However, this final was much more than a goat race and wasn't focused on winning numbers. It involved a sister, 
This was the Williams' 20th encounter, and like many others, it was a hard-fought battle that never reached the stylistic limit. Until late in the second set, when she ultimately let out a growl on a winning return at breakpoint, Serena was a quiet, focused player. Venus continued to play stubbornly in the final game, which led to one of Serena's few fist pumps. The end came when Serena turned away from her sister to celebrate after Venus's final backhand missed the mark. Serena has always struggled to show her competitive spirit when playing Venus. This time, she honored the lady whose passion for tennis had motivated her to pick up a racket and excel to the highest level. In another way, the game ended being a family affair. Later, we learned that when Serena was dominating her sister, she was also conceiving Alexis Olympia, the next generation of Williams. For a player who never found a barrier she couldn't overcome, it was a fitting end. That's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.